Hi there, welcome to Solo and Smart, the YouTube channel for adults at risk of growing older alone. My name is Carol Marock at carolmarock.com and I wanted to share six inspiring resolutions that you might want to focus on in 2021. <clears throat> and one of the things that I do is I pray and meditate more. And it, so every morning I sit still, I silence the brain. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, but I do silence the mind and tune out the noise of worry and my problems. And the daily practice really helps me focus on the things that I can control, which is my breath, my attitude, my emotions, as well as my self-care. So after a while, I started noticing that I've become more positive, hopeful, and even inspired. Uh, a good thing also, another thing that I found on um, a TED Talk, and it was actually implemented by a journalist named Graham Hill, and he has become a vegetarian from Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, he treats himself to meat, eating meat. And uh, so it's a good reset. And he enjoys it because he feels like he's giving back to Mother Earth by shrinking his footprint, saving animals, saving money, and, uh, and also he feels a lot better. Uh, a uh, radiation oncologist aligns her money with her values. And so she treats cancer patients, uh, lung cancer patients, and she discovered that the pension fund that she was contributing to uh, was had holdings in tobacco companies. So she switched her allocations and launched a movement toward tobacco-free investments. So, it's, so know where your money is going. Even with the businesses or the people or the companies you do business with locally, you know, how do they treat their employees and what values do they hold? So just do your research. You can find uh, a lot of that information on their websites. Uh, a good one is number four, is take time to remember the people uh, in your life that help yours, your daily functioning uh, better, like domestic workers and our healthcare team members, even the employees at supermarkets and the superstores uh, the U.S. Postal Service, when they deliver our mail, or the uh, the end of or the the grocery delivery people, all of these individuals really contribute to us having an easier life. So be sure to look them in the eye and give them thanks. Uh, the fifth one is to engage in in a different mentoring relationship and pairing older individuals with younger people. For example, I have this idea and I haven't started it yet, but matching up people like me who are aging at home alone with younger people who are fostering, who are aging out of foster care. Because like me, I have no one to really connect with as a family member of my own personal family member and nor do they. So I always thought that would be such a really wonderful relationship to have in my life. And then the, uh, the last one is, um, let's see, it's to value planet Earth. And this is the one that I enjoy every morning on my walks is because Mother Earth gives us so much. She gives us air and water and plants and animals and soil and minerals and fossil fuels. She gives us or she supplies so much to us. So every day on my walk and as I walk 
past the flowers and trees and water and, and rocks. I, I try to uh, recognize all of them and say thank you because I know they're living things and I want them to feel appreciated like I want to feel appreciated. Well, that's it. I hope those are a few tips or suggestions that you can carry with you into the new year. Uh, be sure to jot those down in your journal or even uh, think about some of the things that you want to change or kind of uh, uh, drop an old habit, for example, and make a new reset in 2021. Thank you and circle back in a few days.